out of here, Boros, man. Get out of here. Every single freaking dime. Every single day. Every single game. Going up against Boros. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. What up, brothers and sisters? And welcome to MTG Malone with me, Matches Malone. Thank you all so very much for tuning in, and thank you all so very, very freaking much for 13,000 freaking subs. We haven't achieved it while the making of this video, but we're like, as I'm recording this, not even 10 people away from hitting the 13,000. And it was not a single day since I started this channel that I haven't had like 10 people one day joining the freaking channel. So, I know that as the moment we will be releasing this video, we will be at 13 freaking thousand. And we didn't even do like 666 videos. We didn't even do this for two years. A little bit over one and a half year. And we're at 13,000. That is boom. Bananas to me. Freaking bananas. The mass of mono black deep inside of me is so freaking happy. So from the bottom of my heart, 13,000 times. Thank you so very freaking much. Age and every single one of you that comes here every single day watching my videos, subscribing to the channel, joining the family, joining the Discord, helping me out in the Patreon and the membership. Whoever you are, you're pretty freaking sweet. So from the bottom of my heart, the last freaking time for today, thank you all so very freaking much. There will be a 12-hour stream coming very soon. I would still announce it to celebrate the 13,000. When and what exactly will be, I will tell you in time, but I want to do some special things. I will be playing Arena. I will be playing Commander, and maybe there is even some karaoke coming our way. Carry on your way with sun, there be peace when you are gone. Stuff like that, you know, just good old freaking Maloney karaoke. We will find out all together. But up with the Yabrin, let's get to the anti Boros Hebron. Oh my lord, if you have seen yesterday's video, you know Boros is running freaking rampant, my friends. Freaking rampant. And I cannot take it anymore. So I'm building another freaking Boros deck. Yes, we had Obscura like two days ago. But this deck is different. It is freaking different. So don't you freaking worry about it, sweet summer child. And I will tell you how. We have so much removal in this deck. And only one single freaking creature that kind of also is removal. At least it is very freaking annoying. The whole break of freaking horror. Yes, the horror is back. Oh, the horror. And all the rest of the deck is just hardcore removal. Hardcore freaking removal. We have also answers for a lot of decks that are playing like, you know, control themselves. Playing a test of talents. So we don't like one of their spells, we just freaking test of talents it. If they're playing Planeswalkers, you know, like, I don't know, the Obnixilis, we just freaking Shadows Verdict it. We have the Celestis for the card selection, you know. We, we good, we're fine. And we also have some creatures with the Sorin, we have some creatures with the Wandering Emperor and the Kaito. So if we really have to, we can beat them down with freaking damage. But for the rest, we just lean back and double up Boros like there is no freaking tomorrow. We have the Fading Hope for the early game. We have the March of the Otherworld Light for whatever they throw at us. We have the March of the Red Sorrow. So we can make sure that we get that life back. And that is just so important because once, once you get over the critical mass that Boros brings to the table, and you're like, hey, I'm down to four life. Maybe I need to do something. Well, just March of the Wretched Sorrow. Worst case, you will have creatures that you can March of the Wretched Sorrow yourself. You know, just shoot your own creature. Just whatever it takes to survive. If they think they got you with a freaking two, uh, with a freaking two mana deal three, now you March of the Wretched Sorrow. Go back to whatever. If you have to, like, you know, discard your freaking Meat of Massacre to get seven life back, do that, my friend. Life. It's the most valuable thing right now against freaking Boros and Best of One. I'm just telling you right freaking away. Vanishing Verse is good against almost everything out of Boros' playbook but the Cavalier. But we do have other answers to the Cavalier like the March, the Fading Hope and the March of the Red Sorrow right here. So don't you worry about it. And the Obscura Charm also takes care of a Cavalier. It brings back our Kaido. It counters its sorcery on instant sp uh, spell. So yeah, everything is freaking bueno. And all of these spells are also very freaking nice together with the Heartbreak of Horror. Because apart from the Ma Meadok Massacre, we can play them all during our freaking opponent's turns. The Wandering Emperor itself. 
can be played during your opponent's turn, so that is just very, very nice. What else do you want? You play Sorin together with the Heartbreaker Horror Down. Now you make yourself a creature, return one of their creatures to your hand, and you have a 3-2-3. Three, two, three. Just to be freaking happy about it. Celeste also gives you life. There is so many things in this deck that just help you beat Boros very freaking efficiently. Shadow's Verdict? Get everything out of here, you know? They have a lot of creatures on the field, now they don't. The Doomscar also just the same. Why is the Shadow's Verdict in here? Well, there's still up Nixilai, and there is still, like you know, tenacious underdogs that we don't like. You don't always have the Wandering Emperor and the Vanishing Verse ready for those, but if you do, that's good. If you don't, Shadow's freaking Verdict. And that is also very nice if they have their own Meat Hook Massacre, you know, you just don't care anymore. Just Shadow's Verdict, they're exiled now. They don't get any value out of it. Pretty darn tasty. The Belter Multiverse, you know, it can act like a decoy for a Doomscar. They don't want to overextend because they think you have a Doomscar. Well, guess what? Belter Multiverse. No Doomscar, no cigar, no freaking nothing. And that is just darn nice. You know what the Shadow's Verdict is also very nice with? The freaking Heartbreaker Horror. Because if they have only three tough, uh, three value creatures, you play the Heartbreaker Horror, you play the Shadow's Verdict, none of yours die, everything of theirs get exiled, and you even return something that you don't like to their hand. Pretty darn good, in mice. You could also return your own Meat of Massacre. Play it once more later. <laughs> what keeps you from doing that? Nothing, I tell you. Freaking nothing. And that is just everything there is to know about this deck. We do have an Aganja and we do have two Tall of the Storm Giants because they go very well with the Heartbreaker Horror. We have three Refines Towers and then some, you know, lands that just fit the deck very well, like the Sanctum, the Pathways, the Marshes, all of these. And we got our freaking, you know, Kamigawa lands back. We got them back. We got them back, my friends. They're back. They fixed it. They, they gave us back our money. That is very, very nice. So yeah, this is Boros. No, bad Boros. Go back to your crib, Boros. Take your pillow. Lay down. Take a nap. I cannot take it anymore. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you in those horror games. I wonder how many Boros tags we will encounter today. But we do have a nice hand here. You know, worst case, we can still behold the multiverse. Not a bad dream. Well, we will see about that. You're going first and you're playing Boros. So it is a pretty darn bad dream. You know, if, I, if I've ever seen a bad dream, that was it. This was it. You playing Boros right away. I, I just said, I want to know how many we encounter game one Boros. Just as per usual, you know. But, you know, it is what it is. We, we just have to live with that for the next three months. I, I don't want to, like, you know, complain about it every single day. But I'm pretty darn close to doing so. I really am. All right, but we can lean back here. Wait what they're doing. They will be bringing down a uh, Luminarch Aspirant here. Pretty darn certain about it. But with the fading up, we're kind of good, you know? We're kind of freaking good. I hope we draw land here. If we don't, we still have the fading hopes, you know, into lands. So that is already pretty darn good. And we will see him. Boros player thinking they're uh, taking a long freaking time to think about their life choices. That is all right with me. We we just you know waiting here. We're just chilling. The fading hope is just super good here. They will be bringing down the Sunrise Cavalier. Yup, I kind of knew it. No surprise here. But you know with the Obscure Charm and everything, we're pretty darn okay. All right, so we can do this two more time, one more time here afterwards, and see what we're getting here. Hopefully a land. That is indeed a land. Perfection. Pretty much freaking perfection. So they're bringing down the Sunrise Cavalier. We just destroyed with the Obscure Charm. That is just what is up. If they bring down something other than the Sunrise Cavalier, like the, um, like the Thundering Raiju, we just, you know, vanishing verse it. Get out of here, man. I'm so bored of Boros. I can't even put in words how freaking bored I am. I cannot even put it in words. All right. That is fine by me. You can do so. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and do that. I will just freaking destroy it. Freaking destroy it right away. So we're taking one here. But that is like nothing, you know? That is literally like nothing. Oh, this is just perfection. Okay. So we do have all the colors of the freaking rainbow here. And I like having all the colors of the rainbow. Depending on what they do, you might even behold the multiverse. But I'd rather keep up everything I have, you know? With the Obscura Charm. Kumano, that is absolutely fine by me. Absolutely fine by me. 
I do not mind that one bit. Not in the slightest. This, on the other hand, I might a little bit. So we're just getting rid of it right away. Just right away. And we're also maybe fading, hoping one of these one ones. No, we're not. We're not. We're chilling. We're chilling. Nothing to do here. Okay. Another behold the multiverse. So I will be keeping up my obscure charm here. And my, my, my fading hope. And my behold the multiverse. But we will see. Maybe I have to like take one hit here. Maybe I do. We'll have to see. But right now, you know, they're like getting in with 1-1 one, one every single turn. That is like nothing to me. Freaking nothing. I do not care about that one bit. And we can still destroy their Kumano. Alright. That is still fine by me. Alright, they have a land here. Perfection. Freaking per freaking faction. You can go for it now. I need other things. I really do. More land. Not exactly what I was looking for, but it's alright. It is still alright. We will just destroy their sucker here right away with the uh, Obscure Charm. That is fine by me. Oh, I messed up. I messed up, man. I totally messed up. Why did I let him attack in? What is wrong with me? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. If they now have the thing, we're super sad. We're just super freaking sad. Oh no. What have I done? What have I done? And I'm drawing a freaking land here. That is just terrible, man. Just freaking terrible. Holy freaking smokes. Well, at least we got that going for us, don't we now? Freaking don't we now? Yes, we do. There's literally no reason not to do this. We're even drawing a, like a card here and, you know, getting things. So we're gaining some life. That is super good. And they exactly need, like, you know, the royal eruption here. Oh, my lord. Why did I mess up like this? They have a fading hope in hand. That is brutal, man. That is freaking brutal. Take action, yes. The Wandering Emperor will be super good if we survive this turn. If we do. If we do. If they have a hasty boy, we're just super freaking dead, man. Super dead. Alright, we will have to find out all together now, don't we? Royal Eruption and we're dead. Why? Because I freaking messed up here. I freaking messed up here. I don't need you. I really, really don't need you. Okay. Do you have the Royal Eruption? Kumano faces Kakasan, alright. That is no Royal Eruption though. Oh my lord, I'm so afraid, man. I'm so freaking afraid, man. So afraid. So freaking afraid. Okay. We have to Doomscar here. And now we just have to pray. We just have to pray. I messed up, man. I messed up royally. Freaking royally. They don't have anything? Really? Really? Oh my lord. They don't have anything. Okay. That is just plain freaking good, isn't it? Yes, it is. Holy freaking smokes. We're getting rid of you here right away. Now we will see what they're doing. The Luminarch Aspirant. And... Is that it? We'll be bringing down Wandering Emperor here. One bajillion percent. One freaking bajillion freaking percent. Also doing this now for the life gain. Holy smokes. If we can turn back here, that would be pretty darn crazy, man. Pretty darn freaking crazy. Holy smokes, once more, I'm, I just messed up there, thoroughly, thoroughly. Not getting rid of the, uh, of the Kumano token here. 
before anything happened. That was a huge freaking misplay. If I've ever misplayed in my entire life, that was it, man. That was freaking it. Holy freaking smokes. Wow. Like the hugest brain mess up I have had in a long freaking time. Giving them two two toots, you know? What is this, belay? Yeah, it ain't. Alright, if they really want to get rid of one of my creatures here, that is fine by me. Like a heartbreak horror is still in our hand, you know? It is still kind of here. Oh my lord, that is pretty darn good. That is a royal eruption to my creature. That is a freaking royal eruption to my freaking creature. Okay. Nice. I like it a lot. I really do. I really, really do. Okay, they will be darned to do anything here, you know? We're getting rid of you. You're like way too valuable for them. Way too freaking valuable for them. So they don't have anything here. I like it a lot. Holy smokes, really. They don't want to play another thing. I totally freaking get it. I really, really do. But I want to do two things here. So I will draw and see what I can get. That march though. That freaking march though. That is just amazing, man. Just amazing. So no matter what happens here, we can shoot our own samurai to get back the life, you know? Oh my sweet lord. Should have attacked in first. Should have maybe attacked in first. Losing that land here. Maybe it will come back to haunt us. We don't know. We will find out all together now, don't we? If they have another royal eruption, what does it cost? Freaking seven to destroy me. Seven. That ain't enough, my friend. Just ain't enough. Alright, so we're attacking in here. We're keeping the Celestis just in case we do have Celestis mana anyways. You know, if we do have that, that would be pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. And we're making ourselves another Samurai just in case you were wondering. But I need as many blockers as I can get. Ending the turn. So once more, we do have the March of the Red Sorrow here. We do have the Heartbreak of Horror coming down. Whew, man. How could I mess up that badge, you know? How could I mess up that freaking badge? Alright, let them attack in here if they want to. I don't think they want to. I really don't think they do. They do want to. Well, you know, in that case, let's bring down Heartbreak Horror. Give me one darn good reason why I shouldn't. One freaking darn good reason why I shouldn't. No, the Heartbreak Horror is also a very good target. Cancel. Alright, that is fine by me. That is absolutely fine by me. I cannot give up my March of the Wretch Sorrow here. I can't. It's just that they scoop! Get out of here, Boros, man! Get out of here! Every single freaking dime! Every single day! Every single game going up against Boros! Get out of here, man! Get out of here! Alright, that was one Boros out of one. Like, if you remember yesterday, there was a lot of Borosing going on. Alright, all we need is one land sooner or later and we're good. We're freaking good, thanks to the Celestis. If we can draw one land, we're good. If we cannot draw land, we're bad, you know? It's mill? It's freaking mill? Are you kidding me? After everything I went through, now I have to go through mill. Well, that is terrible. That is pretty darn terrible. I really hope that we can find a land here. If we can't, well, we're kind of screwed. Well, that was three non-lands, so thank you very much. I appreciate it. Mill me more in non-lands. Mill me more in non-lands. Well, there was one land out of... Wow. Seriously? Seriously? They milled us one, two, three, four, five, six. One non-land out of five, and we're still drawing a non-land? That is pretty darn impressive. Well, it was kind of to be expected. It was only lands now. Well, there goes this. There goes this. So, we might lose to Mill here because we're a little bit too slow. There's a huge chance of that happening. All right, we really have to get rid of this Ruin Crab now. It's getting a little bit too dangerous. Just a little bit too dangerous. Is there a Kaito in here? The Fading Hope. Unreal. Unreal. Okay. Unfreaking real. There's not even a Kaito in here. Wowzers, man. Freaking wowzers. 
I mean, we do have the Obscura charm, but you know, there just ain't, no, ain't enough. There's a test of talents in there. Still have to get rid of this ruin crab. Like, there might be a reason that they're, you know, not doing anything here. We're down to 37 cards, man. 37. That just ain't good enough. Alright, we're down to 24 cards here. 24 freaking cards. No bueno, man. No freaking bueno. So we need to bring down the creatures as soon as we can and hopefully have a chance here. Like, they still need it all, you know? They still need it all. That is super good. I don't care about that one bit. Not in the slightest. Not in the freaking slightest. The test of talents, though. The test of freaking talents, though. That is just exactly what I need here. Exactly. All right. So we need to keep up our mana for this, you know? Just need to keep it freaking up. All righty. No freaking righty. Uh, we're declining here. We need to. Bringing down the Wandering Emperor. Still keeping up our uh, test of talents. They have a counter spell here. That is fine by me. But we really, really need to get in there with those creatures, you know? Really do. Like, we're still on a, like, you know, five turn clock here. It's getting a little slower every single turn. A little faster every single turn. We still have 21 cards left. And, uh, like, how many? Four, five of them are lands, seven of them are lands, eight, nine. Nine of them are lands. The dual strike. Okay, we'll see what the dual striking here. We have to, we freaking have to. And we will see what their hand is. Their hand is only a strangle. Okay. So they need to top deck off the century, man. We're down to 10 cards. 10 freaking cards. And they need the top deck off the freaking century. If they do get it, well, it's just pretty darn good for them, isn't it? And we're still declining here. Alright, bringing down the Kaito. Once more, we need to get in there for as much freaking damage as fast as we freaking can. If they get the top decks, well, they get the top decks. Nothing I can do about it, is there now? The Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Thing is, I will get rid of this right away. Because we still have a three turn clock here. Still have a freaking three turn clock. All right, more freaking right. Let us see how this turns out, man. No way, man, no way. Come on, come on, man. No way, really? That was your freaking top deck. Get out of here, man. Get freaking out of here. Unreal, unreal. What a top deck, man. The Tasha's hideous laughter, really? They had three left in the whole deck and they found it. Three left in the whole freaking deck and they found it. Unreal to me. un freaking unreal to me. But we do have a very, very nice hand here against freaking Boros. And that is what you have to think about every single day. Is it good against Boros? Well, it sure is, but it doesn't matter too much because we're not up against Boros. But we're up against Golgari. I like that a lot, I have to say. The nation's underdog. Well, you will not like what I'm doing very soon. You will not. Because I do have the Wandering Emperor, I do have the Shadow's Verdict, so yeah. That is pretty darn delicious, isn't it? Oh my, here comes the freaking Omnixili, doesn't it? Freaking doesn't it? Well, we'll have to see if the Shadow's Verdict is pretty darn good against those Omnixili, isn't it? Yes, it is. The answer is yes. Yes, it freaking is. All right, you're getting in there. We're getting rid of it. I like that a lot. 
They do have something, but it doesn't concern me too much right now. Because once more, we still have the Doomscar and the freaking things, you know? Well, that is okay. A lot of land, that is not okay. That really ain't. Well, whatever you're doing here, we do have to test talents twice. The Ziatora, okay. The Bloodthide Harvester, alright. Well, what you doing here? They're bringing down the Omnixilai now. Okay. Well, that is still fine by me, you know? We do have this Shadow's Verdict here, so hey. You go ahead. You go ahead. You can even have one. Decline. The Fading Hope. That is also very nice here. So no matter what you bring down, we do have an answer with our Fading Hope. Goodbye, my friend. I hope you like that. That is exactly what we have it for. So now we only need to find some answers and we're kind of good, you know. Kind of. Not perfectly fine, but still kind of good. All right. And uh, Fading Hope. And we can look at what we get here. So they have this land. Well, I don't really want that. I want more land or like an answer, you know, would be pretty darn good. The Obscura Charm is an answer indeed. So we will just chill here and destroy their Hive of the Eye Tyrant. I think that that is just pretty darn good. So we didn't find a land here, which is a little saddening. But we did find things. Oh, they're getting rid of Meat of Masker. Interesting. Cheeky, cheeky. Card draw would be insanely nice here. Insanely freaking nice here. Alright, we're destroying this right away. Just destroying it right freaking away. And if they do have a, like, a, you know, a sacrifice spell or whatever, we just test of talents it. And then we're still kind of happy, you know? They don't have anything here. So we're bringing this down so that we will have a st uh, this Hall of the Storm Giants. The Hall of the Storm Giants is just darn good. And we still have the Task Talents, we still have the Doomscar. They're cycling now, they don't have anything. I like that, cycle main phase. Always a good sign. Always a darn good sign. We now have the Wandering Emperor, so go ahead, do your worst. We will now engage Chill Mode. Mm. Oh yes, Chill Mode is engaged. You got rid of a Bozeju here? Bring down the Wandering Emperor. And we will, uh, you know, make ourselves a ninja, a samurai here. Another land. Why the freaking heck not? Oh no, not the Vaulted Surge. Could have gotten rid of my Wandering Emperor, but they haven't. I could have also like Test of Talents at it. But I haven't. But I will Test of Talents this. Oh yes. Yes. That was a good freaking like target, you know. Alright. And alright. So you don't have anything here, do you now? The power word kill, man. It just ain't good enough, is it? Just ain't freaking good enough, is it now? <coughs> okay, we're making ourselves another samurai. You know, we're once more just in chill mode. I don't want him to destroy my uh, Hall of the Storm Giants here. That is why I'm keeping back a little bit. Okay, that is another cycle main phase. Nothing you can do here. That is okay, but still not good enough, you know. Just not good enough. Are we getting rid of this here? I don't think we are. I just don't think that we are. I will be doing this. Getting in there with the, uh, with the samurai, see if they block. They do not. Okay. Well, in that case, we're doing this then. And keeping up our test of talents just for the worst case. But I don't think that I have to fear too much here. But them having a creature that they can, like, you know, sacrifice to the deadly dispute, that is pretty much something that I don't want him to do. Alright, they got rid of the power kill here. I like that a lot. And a scoop! Get out of here, Obnixilus deck! We're prepared! We're ready for you! We will crush your adversary! Crush it, I tell you! Mmm! When Obnixili hits the field, you have the Shadow's Verdict, that's amore. We're going first? What is this, Krimis? I will keep this hand a million days a year. Yes, sir. We do have the Fading Hope, we do have the Vanishing Verse, we do have the Wandering Emperor. 
So we're up against freaking, uh, you know, Boros here once more, which there would be no surprise if we were. <gasps> it's mono black. It is mono black. Interesting. Cheeky. Okay. Good, good. I like it. I really do. I don't care about this eye twitch. I really, really don't care about it at all. Oh my. All right. That was unexpected, to say the least. Pretty darn unexpected, to say the pretty least. Okay. So this might be value town. 3,000. My turn. Value town, three freaking thousand. Do you have the sacrifice spell, but I don't care about it too much? Because I do have the Celestis now. And if they're ever attacking in with the Eye Twitch again and like spending their mana beforehand, I will just exile it with the Wandering Emperor. Give me one darn good reason why I should. Will they exile my Wandering Emperor with their Vanishing Verse? Yes, they will. Is it worth it? I think it totally freaking is. I think it is. Okay, that was a little unexpected. But also in the same time, we'll just get rid of this and look at the top cards of a library. Really good, I like it, I really do. Bring down the black here because we do have the white, we do have the blue, so we have everything we need here. And just passing the turn, even drawing a card for our troubles. That is darn nice. So what is your eye twitch doing now actually? What is it actually freaking doing? So we're getting rid of the March of the Vratch Sorrow here. We uh, sadly need all the other things. And none too much of what we already have. Bring down the Shamley boy. But that also means that you don't have any, like, you know, black mana here to sacrifice anymore. Oh my lord, that is a lot of freaking vanishing verse. Uh, wedding announcements. That really freaking is. So, do I do this now? Yes, I don't want him to have the value. That is just what I'm doing here. Not letting them have the freaking value. Alrighty, we're drawing here. Another Vanishing Verse. Not really. Not freaking really. The Obscura Charm though is darn nice. Okay. So we're forcing them onto attacking our freaking uh, Wandering Emperor here. The Doomscar is exactly what I'm looking for. Freaking exactly. So they will get rid of my Wandering Amper here anyways, you know? That is just what is up. That is just what is freaking up. They will draw some cards, yes, yes. But uh, then they have no more creatures left. That is also pretty darn nice. Alright, and I will also draw some cards. Our swords will cross again one day, Darth Coolio. Okay, that is still alright with me. I will just freaking Doomscar here. Maybe not even right away. Maybe I will also just meet Ogmasker. You know, there is a high chance of that just happening. <laughs> yes, there is. Yes, there is. Alright. You know, just meet Ogmasker for two here. Maybe they do have a Wandering Empress themselves. I don't know. And we will... Uh do anything else? I don't know yet. Well, that is still kind of fine. You know, they should have done it before, so I didn't get the value out of it. So right now, they're like in value town. We aren't. We freaking aren't. But we're surviving, and that is the most important part here. And we still have the Celestis. So yeah, right now, I feel like we're okay, you know? We're not perfectly fine, but we're okay. And we will see what they have here. The Edgar. Interesting. What color is the coffin, though? I don't know. I really, really don't know. Well, we're just doom scarring here. Give me one darn good reason why I shouldn't. One freaking darn good reason why I shouldn't. Oh, you still want to get some value out of this, don't you now? Do I? I think I keep my obscure charm for something more important. Does this have a color? It doesn't. It doesn't have a color. 
They will be getting at the point where they have to play two things, though, and then we will get our obscure charm. But right now we're not looking too tasty, you know? Not too tasty. This uh, Edgar got us real freaking good, I have to say. I really have to say. Are you attacking him with the Cave of the Frost Dragon? You are. The Mad Lad. The freaking Mad Lad. Okay. Well, we can get rid of it with the Vanishing Verse. And I think that we will. I think we will. Good. That is land last for you. And more power to me. Okay. The March of the Rat Sorrow. That is super good. I will just chill here. You know, there's no reason to do anything. And one day we might even get like in a luxurious situation to do something. Who knows? Who freaking knows? They never want us to have the Celestis here. That is absolutely understandable. I wouldn't do it either. But hey, but hey. The Eye Twitch, okay. Just never do it. Just never freaking do it. But you know, we can just do it ourselves. And then just do nothing. But right now, we're still okay, you know? We're still kind of fine. All right, drawing all these lands, on the other hand, ain't fine at all. And we're keeping this land just so we have something to discard to the Celestis here. All righty. No freaking righty. Take action. Oh, delicious. Freaking delicious freaking goat meat. All right. So, yes, they get in here for some damage now. That is true. That is absolutely freaking true. But I'm still fine. Like, there's nothing I can do about it, you know? Like, nothing. They go into 31, but if they don't play anything here, my Celestis will still trigger, you know? And that is also pretty darn good. And we just Doom Scar and go back to a lot of freaking life. And I like that very much. I like that very much. Okay. Oh my. Well, ain't that something? So we can do this for a six even. But do we even want to? I don't think we do. I just don't think we do. There's like literally no reason to do it, you know? Literally none so ever. Well, ain't that pretty? Ain't that a beauty? We're getting rid of this vanishing verse here. Do you have another one in hand though? Do you now? Do you have two of them? Oh, you have another deadly dispute is what you have. Okay, interesting. All right, I like this. I really do. So we're going back to a lot of life here. Oh my lord, what are these games today? What are these freaking games today? Freaking blood money. When is the last time you have seen a freaking blood money deck? I don't remember. I don't remember at all. So we do have another Meteor Massacre here. I think I'm pretty, like, it was a good idea to keep it, you know? It's crying. That is just bananas. Okay. So. We will draw here. Oh, yes. We're getting rid of this. So we can finally get rid of this freaking Edgar Marcus coffin. Finally get freaking rid of it. That is still so fine by me. Still so fine. The Kaito, eh? Yeah, we still kind of have to do this now. Sadly. Freaking sadly. But we absolutely will. There's literally no way we don't. We're going back to 10. Like, you know, that was a pretty darn good card to have for them. A pretty darn good card. But, uh, yeah. Ours was also not that shabby, was it now? Like, come on, man. Seriously, you have drawn 20 cards and you still have, like, three deadly disputes. That is just bananas. Just freaking bananas. So we're still going back to 20 here. And that is all I care about. Surviving somehow, you know? And uh, with the Kaito, we will be getting into our freaking value sooner or later. Not very soon, but sooner. Oh my, okay. Well, that is pretty darn good, isn't it? But it's good that they did it now and not later. But they're like very much into value town. We very much aren't. Very much aren't. I really hope that we will enter value town very soon. That would be pretty darn good. Well, you know, maybe we don't. Maybe we don't. <laughs> maybe we freaking don't. We'll have to find out all together now, don't we? But the test talents is pretty nice here. Not gonna freaking lie. It is pretty darn nice here. Okay. Yeah, that is, that is absolutely all right with me. Yeah, absolutely all right with me. 
Kaito phases out here. We're getting the thing. But we're also getting things, you know? But I'm pretty darn certain that they just have another one. We have enough, we do have enough. They just have another Edgar. Like, why shouldn't they, you know? Yeah, they're getting us really freaking good because, like, we're entering no value town at all. Like, we had a very good anti Boros hand, but we had the worst anti whatever this is hand. The worst! The freaking worst. But we will see if they're ever doing something. All I have to do is play one card to get our Celestis not working. I knew it. I freaking knew it, man. I freaking knew it that they had another one. Oh my lord. Oh my sweet lord. Well, Heartbreak Horror ain't it, man. Just ain't freaking it. The Obscure Charm is pretty okay, though. And we will just have to see how this turns out, you know? If we, like, find a Fading Hope here, on top, that might change things, you know? Might freaking change them. They played two Vanishing Verses already. Like, chance that they have another one in hand is pretty darn high. Pretty darn high. Well, that ain't it, Chief. That just ain't it. Well, good game, my friend. You got us. You got us really good. I have to say. You got us pretty darn good. Is there anything we can do here? No, there ain't. Good game. I, I have to say. It was a pretty darn good game. They got us really good. Like, there's no way we can do anything here. We don't have a one cost anything, you know? Just don't have it. Just don't have it. So, yeah. What is there to say? Now, watch him remove this also. And hey, it was a darn good game. I have to say, this second Invoke Despair got us pretty darn good. Losing to Top Deck City, though, against this Mill deck still. Still is in my mind. Get out of here, Mill. But bravo, blood money. Bravo. We really lost here, like, fair and square, like, but still this mill deck, man. <laughs> that top deck. All right, once more, this is a very darn good hand against freaking Boros. And we will see. If you remember yesterday's video, we encountered a lot of Boros. And here it freaking is now. Here it is. Boros going first. So we will see if we ever have a chance. We will have to see. Like, I will freaking uh, foretell the Doomscar here. Keep up the Refines Tower. Yep. Yep, it is Boros going first. That is never good. Just never freaking a good. No, sir. Just not. All right. But I feel like this is the right call of action. So they exile this now. They're getting in for six to nine if they have the, um, the Cavalier. If they do have it, that would be pretty darn bad. But we can get rid of that stupid Luminarch Aspirant here. And we do have the March of the Red Sorrow as well. So we still, like you know, can do things. At least we encountered another Boros that we were, like, farming here. And not a Luminarch, though. All right. Okay. So they're only getting in for six. Seven. 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 Okay. That is still all right. That is still something. Maybe we even find an untapped land here. We do not find an untapped land. Okay. But I, I still feel like we're kind of fine here. You know? We just have to get rid of one of their things here to survive. And we will see which thing it is. All right, they're getting in for six. Freaking six. But we're getting in there for, you know, the vanishing verse here. And that is also pretty darn nice. Okay. So what you doing here, my friend? What is your grand freaking scheme? Do you have another creature on the field? Are you uh, playing around my Doomscar? You are playing around my Doomscar. That is pretty darn smart, isn't it? Yes, it is. But I will be doing this now. And just hope they don't have another Royal Eruption. If they do have another Royal Eruption, well, there was nothing I could do about it, is there now? I still feel like they're rather going for a creature here. I mean, if they do have another Royal Eruption, you know, that is pretty darn good. But it doesn't look like they do. All right. So in that case, we can do this for two. Get the Obscure Charm down. i rather keep my Vanishing Verse here, you know? Okay. All right. For telling this now, let us see what they're doing. Like if they had three freaking Luminarchs here, that is pretty darn impressive, I have to say. That is pretty darn impressive. 
And uh, as long as we don't have a cavalier here, we're kind of fine. The bloodthirsty adversary. That is kind of not fine at all. We have to use the uh, vanishing verse here now. But we have it, so that is also very good. We do have it. So hey, we're doing this main phase. Just in case we find something amazing, like the Kaito. That is pretty darn good. Kaito is pretty darn good here. Because it is a blocker. And if they do have something, we have to block, you know? Holy smokes, what a game on the edge of our seats again. We have so many things we can draw here. But the Igandro is also super nice, I have to say. Because whatever they have, that destroys everything they have. Every single thing. I'm still afraid of a Cavalier. But I feel like if they had the Cavalier, they would have already have played it, you know? They would already have done so. So, my friend. Lehuam. What you doing here? I offer you nothing but pain. No peace. No freaking Valor. For Boros. Nothing. The Brutal Cathar. Okay, that is pretty darn annoying. But uh, it's still alright. It is still pretty much alright. We're drawing here. And see what we can get. The Refines Tower. Alright. It feels bad to do so, but we have to. Feels bad to do so, but we freaking have to. If we draw one more land, we can bring our Hallbreaker Horror down. And we do have a chance to find one more land. Okay, Lahu, what you doing here? Shooting my Kaito, eh? Is that really what you're up to? I mean, I will make myself another Samurai. Another Brutal Cathar, eh? That is just plain impressive. Making ourselves another Ninja. And then we're chilling. We do have the Heartbreaker Horror here. So whatever they do, and we do have two blockers, and we will block the way it was intended to. Like, they have only three mana. I feel like they're missing one mana to do something here, you know? Okay, that is nice. I like it. Are you attacking it now? You are. Well, say hello to my little heartbreak horror. Oh, the horror. Oh, the horror. Well, I don't think you have something for it, like, that did... Like, with five damage here, you know? I don't think you have it. I just don't think you do. And we do now have a meet up freaking massacre, so hey, go ahead, do your worst, man. Do your freaking worst. I have to chill a little bit here. And I will. I freaking will. But hey, once more, I think that the game is pretty much over. And hey, Scoop! Get out of here, Boros, man! Get freaking out of here! Mmm! Oh my lord! Really now. Freaking really now. So yeah. Boros. Get freaking out of here. Mm. Oh Boros. You tried to defeat me. But you failed. I used the doom scar on one creature. Boros. Yes that was terrible. But that won us the game. A five mana removal. <laughs> won us the game. <laughs> I had to do it. And you know, these two games that we lost, the top deck freaking Tasha's hideous laughter, that was pretty hideous, but also, you know, the other deck just won without any luck just by being a good old deck. And, uh, you know, sometimes you have to tell your opponents, very well played, that was a nice freaking game, and I enjoyed it a lot, even though I lost. And you know what I also enjoy? Saying thank you to all these people on this beautiful list. Thank you also very freaking much. From the bottom of my heart, the 13,000 could have never been achieved without all of these people, because I would have like to take a real job and stuff like that, you know? And taking a real job sometimes just keeps you from doing what you really want to do, like doing this, being here every single day for each and every one of you. So, thank you all. If you're a Zadru, if you're a Gold Span Dragon, or a Nico Bolas, God, Pharaoh, doesn't really matter. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so very freaking much. Couldn't do nothing without you. So yeah, here I am, doing what I love for 13 freaking thousand people. And if you haven't done so already, hey, next goal is the 14 and then the 15 and then boom, the 20 freaking K. We will be getting there, maybe even this year, who knows? 
If we can do it this year, the 20k this year, can you even imagine? I can't. There's no way I can. There is no way I can. But it's freaking realistic. That is what I'm telling you. So hey, never forget that each and every single one of you is pretty freaking sweet. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow.